D and today I'm not streaming and this feels weird because there's no chat and I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I'm wearing a black t-shirt because I'm working with strawberries and I feel like I'm gonna spill them on myself. I went to Asda this morning and uh, I picked up all the ingredients for this and they didn't have rye flour. But don't worry, Google is my best friend and I figured out apparently wheat flour can work. So fingers and toes crossed. Also, I don't have a professional microphone, so you're just gonna have to deal with the echo and the th There's more steps to this than I thought. The dough is its own dough, it's not shop bought. So let's get this dough on the rolling pin. Shall we? Today we are making Shigoraf's Strawberry Tart. The first step is to make the dough. This is called Sweet Crostata Dough. We need a bowl, which I have, brown sugar, should be rye flour, but uh, plain flour with the happy little man on it. Look at that dude. Also, unsalted butter and a pinch of salt. Stop that. Also, because this is an American recipe from an American... Because this is an American recipe from an American recipe book, I have these dingly danglies because we don't use cups in the UK. So, without faffing about anymore, let me turn on this other camera because this is gonna give us the view of the close-up of what I'm doing. How delightful. Okay, so the first thing we need is one cup all-purpose flour. This, I think, is a cup. This is one cup. Pop this in there like this. That does not fit in there. This is a very good start. Okay, I'm going to need a spoon. This is a big sp That's probably not gonna fit in there either, is it? But this is a salad server, but we're gonna use it to put the flour in this here cup. And luckily, I did buy my mum a nice new plain flour, so it doesn't matter if we use all of this. I nearly just put that everywhere. We've been here for the space of five seconds, and I've nearly spilled a whole cup of flour. Oh, okay, we're fine. Fine. Okay, so I need the rye flour, which is half a cup. This one should be a bit easier because it's in a bag. So this is the one that could be bad. Also, I did not sieve that like I said. I, would. <gasps> I knew that this was going to happen. I just, I could sense it. It's fine. I just need to guesstimate how much fell in there. I think that's about right. Salt and brown sugar. So a pinch of salt. Two tablespoons. Okay. 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 Everything's falling over. It's fine. Oh! I nearly just dropped scissors on myself. Whose idea was this? This is a terrible idea. One and two. Six tablespoons of cold, unsalted butter. Tablespoons, okay. I, I personally would have done butter by like weight, like grams, but that we can, we can do tablespoons. One, two, that's four. Why a spoon? This is such a messy way of doing it. Luckily I left this butter out, so it would be a bit more uh, sploopy. I need to rub the butter in my fingers until I have a consistency like fine breadcrumbs. This feels, this, this is not like making slime. I wish it was like making slime. I hope it's not too echoey in here. I don't have a microphone. I'm getting more and more breadcrumby. Do you know, I was really worried that this wasn't gonna work out, but it's looking pretty good. Right. I feel like this is the consistency of frying breadcrumbs now, right? I think it is. What do you think? I think it does. So let's try adding uh, some water to these fine breadcrumbs. Sit in, please! Don't you <laughs> me? I'm just gonna quickly run 
it under the tap and see how far that gets us. Look, it's actually coming together. If there's one thing I've learned is you can always add more, but you can't take any away. That's probably gonna be too much, but hopefully after I just said that, I did that. Oh no, I might have messed up. It's fine, I'll knead it in. I'll knead it in, everything. Oh no, what have I done? Top tip, don't do what I just did. If you are going to put water in things, use a teaspoon. I might have panicked a little bit too much there. We might be fine. Thank you. which I don't like using because it's not reusable. We uh, put that like so. And I'm going to look up whether we need to do anything else in the meantime. So let me go to the in the fridge. I will see you in an hour or in five minutes after I've read this recipe book. See you in a bit. <sighs> Did you miss me? Things of sunlight. Thanks, Siggy. Did you miss me? We're back. And yes, we had to wait an hour for the dough to set or whatever it's doing. Here's the dough from the fridge. Right, let us roll out this dough. We need to protect the surface. We need to protect. So we're going to protect. I don't have a tart tin, but I have a cake tin. So hopefully that works just the same. Uh, I need to roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thickness. So far, our dough seems to be rolling pretty okay. I was a bit worried about it because it was very wet. Hopefully this doesn't fall apart as I lift it or get stuck to the desk, which I can feel it is a little bit stuck. Okay, um, oh God. Okay, um, okay. <laughs> Things are going fine. I think the baking paper will just make it so much easier for me to get out. And uh, I'm just gonna chop off roughly these edges. Obviously a tart's not meant to have this thick of a crust but a tart dish is a lot smaller than this and uh, like, I, like I've said five million times, I don't have a tart dish. The recipe does say to put weights inside the dough so it doesn't rise. I don't have fancy tart weights so that's not happening. Prick the bottom of the tart several times with a fork. Prick. will stop it rising as well. I don't know. That's probably a lot more than several, but I got a little bit excited about stabbing things. 15 to 20 minutes. We'll do 15 and then we shall check it. Find your eyes, please, when you're grabbing things out of the oven. Do you see the smoke? That's why you watch out for your eyeballs. Boom. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Sure, 15 minutes. Starting now. Thanks, babes. Cut the strawberries. Lovely British strawberries. You see that? Are they British? Yes. They are from Kent. Kent. This could take a while. You just pull it out. Pull that green bit out. Stop wasting so much strawberry. Don't worry, I will fast forward this bit so you don't have to watch me chopping up every single strawberry. I'm very aware of the fact that I have a sharp object in my hands. You may or may not know, I'm extremely clumsy and if you've never watched my streams, hi, I'm Kay Powell and I'm very clumsy. Uh, there's actually a scar on my thumb that you might see while I'm chopping that I did from grating my own thumb 
because I thought it was a piece of carrot when I was grating carrots. I can't look at these and not have one, can I? Nobody tell anybody. Shh. One cup granulated sugar. We toss the strawberries in a small bowl. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna have to get this out and look at it. No! No! I might, it might be savable. It might be savable. You can't even see what I'm doing. Just, just don't even, don't look. Might have saved it. Okay, so they need to set. Ta-da! It's out. It is baked and the strawberries have been sitting for nearly 15 minutes. This is gonna start vibrating in a minute and it's gonna tell me that we're ready. So, told you there it is. This next step is actually over this way, so I'm gonna quickly move the camera. Okay, so I've moved the camera. Let's strain these bad boys in here. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, look at that juice. Ow, there's still heat coming out the oven. Oh gosh, I've made a mess. Surprise, surprise. A quarter cup of port. A few sprigs of fresh thyme. How does this work? I don't know how port works. Do I have to? Oh, I think I figured it out. I think you're supposed to have an actual tool to do this bit. enough time in this planet. Turn on the heat! So we need to cook on a medium heat until it reduces half in size. Oh, we got some bubbles! You can see though, it's like bubbling. So while that cools and that cools, we are going to make the mascarpone bit. Things are gonna get a bit loud around here. What is eight ounces in grams? Eight ounces equal 226.796 grams. Okay, so that's pretty much this whole tub. I think I'm just gonna do like that. That seems about right. I hope that's going to be okay. Heavy cream. Now, heavy cream is apparently double cream, but American heavy cream is double, like really, really fatty. Um, so I got extra thick, fresh double cream. Hopefully this will be okay. And we want two tablespoons of this. Why do they do everything with spoons? Powdered sugar. Let us do this. Carefully, unlike last time. In fact, I'm gonna do it over the sink. Oh my gosh. You don't even wanna know what's happening over here. Powdered sugar, quarter of a cup. Woof, look at that disco. I'm gonna just do a bit more, because I know that I spilled some. It's gonna get very loud, so we're gonna fast forward this bit with no talking. And let's whack it on. Aha. How's this? Now, you see this bit? Don't worry about that because we can do some Bob the Builder magic. Everything's fine. Now, why is that in this drawer? That should be in here. That could have been very dangerous. Right, this went underneath, ooh, uh, this went every, uh, underneath everything. Found it. So now, we put this mix into here. So, we spread this. Oh, that was a horrible sound. We spread this. 
it's slowly falling apart, but it's okay. Cause look, ready, ready, we're really gonna. This is gonna be fine. Look at that. See, I bet you never saw that coming, did you? Very nice, very nice. Let's do this from the outside in. What do we think? I think it looks pretty good. Oh, <laughs> I just caught that. That would have been so bad. I don't think any of this recipe was particularly, particularly difficult. I just think, um, I think it was quite a simple one to start with, which is nice and very fitting because it is Shiagora, which is my favorite Daedric Prince. And also our guild on the Elder Scrolls Online, here's time to plug. Our guild on the Elder Scrolls Online is actually called the Insanity Party and our guild tabard is uh, the Shiagorath logo and we all worship Shiagorath. Uh, the camera just shut itself off so I don't know if it overheated or if I run out of battery but I'm gonna quickly finish up here. Here it is, the Shiagorath strawberry tart. I'm not gonna tip it but I will insert some photos up here of it. Thank you so much for coming along to this very first Cooking with K-Pow. I really, really appreciate you being here and being with me on this journey. I have enjoyed making this. If you would like there to be another Cooking with K-Pow, please do flame up the comments, like the video and subscribe if you're not already. I will see you on my Twitch channel. Here's the, here's the link in a little thingamabob or on the screen or in the description. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday starting at 12 p.m. BST. And we have a lot of fun playing the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm on the official Elder Scrolls Online stream team and various other things. So thank you for coming along. And um, until next time, I'm glad.